that's three for three. That was just even over here. Hello, crew. Hi, crew. Welcome back to another episode. I'm representing. Caitlin is not representing. <laughs> This is Caitlin, by the way, for those just joining us. I'm Craig. Hello. We are out on the sea panda today. Uh, it was my birthday on the weekend. By yesterday. The time, no, the day yesterday. before yesterday. By the time you guys see this, it would have been a few weeks ago, but the weather was absolutely shocking on my birthday. So we went down to explore some mangroves and went mud crabbing. Got a um, mud crab. We filmed that for Patreon. So if you want to see that, go and have a look over there. But today the weather is finally better. It's meant to be really nice out here today. So we've come out to look for some whales, look for some fish, and see how we go. See what we can find. We're also going to try out a set of new squid jigs. And last time we did a squidding video, which just dropped last weekend, last Friday, which was three weeks ago now, however many long ago. Uh, someone said to try a pink squid jig, so we've got a pink squid jig, and they also said to try clearer water, so it's clear water today. <laughs> also, Yindi's with us. Yes, Yindi's with us. And the thing that I'm most excited about is that we have a brand new hydrophone to try out today. So hopefully we can listen to some whale songs. Yeah. So... Hopefully there's heaps of whales around. Yeah. But so yeah, we'll... come along, join us this week. <laughs> No. All right, so this is some whale song that was recorded two years ago by a mate of mine. And the other day when I played it on tour, the whales breached. And we tried to cut the whales pop up here, so we're going to see what happens. They should breach just there. That's definitely a singing whale. The one that's playing? Yeah. No, well, all humpback whales vocalise, but only the males sing. Right now there's going to be a whale breaching over here. You asked me the tunnel. Oh, there it is, it's breached. You asked me the tunnel. Oh, there it is, it's breached. What? That's a different whale. The, the saga continues. That's three for three for playing this and the whale's breaching. I'm claiming it. What are you, what's your thoughts, Foxy? I didn't see it. Should we go over there? But there was one just here, wasn't there? Yeah. I think just wait a minute. You can tell the whales are diving when you see their fluke, which is their tail come up. And that one just had a big fluke come up. It took a big dive. But it should be somewhere around us right now. We start again. I think the whale's gone. Did you hear that? Yeah, is that that? No. Wait, really? No. It's not playing. Stop it! Stop! You can hear them! Put the in. No way, that's crazy. I've never heard them like above the water before. That must be so loud. Put the hydrophone in. That is wild. Whoa. Oh my God, I've never heard them above the water. They must be so close. <gasps> that's so cool. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Can you see? I wonder if they can hear it and they're singing at us. That's seriously like, that's what I'm thinking. Because this song's like two years old too. They're big... like, what language are you speaking? We changed that thing two years ago. Okay. Yendi, what are you trying to achieve? She's just trying to fall, <laughs> trying to fall right into the windscreen. Oh, Yendi. Oh my god, that is so wild. All right, let's set up this hydrophone. So a hydrophone is basically an underwater microphone. So listen, and look at the cute little speaker. <laughs> I am so excited. 
Oh my god, that's so cool. I've never heard them above the water. No, I've before. never heard them through the that's through the boat. That is insane. I've heard of like Tash had that happen. They were singing right next to them. They must be singing right here. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready? We're gonna hear some live whales. You're gonna have to stop. Okay, so we are going to continue in a direction unknown to us. At the moment it's south, isn't it, Caitlin? Yeah. Sorry, the GoPro overheated. GoPro, do better with your overheating issues. All right, we're going to head south, and if we come across any ground, we might have a little jig. I'm trying these new soft plastics I've never used before. But um, yeah, we'll have a look, see what's around. We've just got a mum and calf over here doing some peck slapping and tail slapping. Hopefully they keep going, but we're going to put the drone up and see if we can feed them. It's like a little heat run. There's a whole but I think it's heap of whales here. Too. Like, look yeah, at that. Look at I want to go over there. Okay, we can go to those ones. Wow, there's Zero. probably look like. At that.
Now I'm convinced that Yindi can smell the whales. You do see when they're like peck slapping and fluke slapping or breaching, they shed lots of little bits of their skin. If you drive through the footprint after they've been doing that, um, you see like little black sheets of their skin. It looks like bits of black plastic, but I reckon Yindi can smell that. That's one of the reasons that it's theorized that they breach and um, slap their fins around like that is to knock off any parasites or dead skin. Um, but it could also be for communication because it makes a really loud sound. You can hear it from way, way, way away um, just from the surface, but underwater it makes a really loud sound as well. Um, or it could just be for fun also. There's a boat charging over here. Yeah. They have currently disappeared. All right, we're going to a spot over here in the Gulf um, where we are sure to catch a fish. Maybe, maybe not. But it has glassed off, conditions are good. Caitlin's uh, now our bow mascot. We're getting roasted for having her on the bow. <laughs> All right, we've got Caitlin on the rod here. So quiet and peaceful. Yindi is alert and ready. Caitlin has the <clears throat> has the GoPro in her mouth there, so she's going to be giving you guys a totally different angle. Caitlin is jigging away still. She's getting jiggy with it. <laughs> We've got a smile out of her. Woo! Oh, that was a little bit. We're over, over the dense part, of the dense part right now. Now, for those that don't know, when you're on the water, the CBD refers to the central bommie district, not the central business district. So a bommie is a large formation, coral formation underwater that comes up nearly to the surface. I've heard other YouTubers call them a rock, but they're not. They're a live living formation or formerly a living formation made by coral and most of the time it's made by a, a species of coral called a porite coral which is a very slow growing type of coral i'll chuck some imagery up of a porite coral um, and yeah they're very slow growing formations and they can get very very old we've got some porite bombies in the in the lagoon that are over 2000 years old so yeah if you come out on tour i'll teach you how to age the coral Peyton's still jigging over here That was a very little bite. It's my turn to get jiggy with it. Today is such a nice day, it's what we call a glass out. Get no, it's not a glass out, it's called a glass off. Don't know who these people are running around saying glass out. It's a glass off. Red flag. All right, we're done with this shenanigans. See if there's any fish coming up. Ready? None that time. Such a satisfying swim, I can't believe nothing wants to eat that. <coughs> I know. Well, let's hope for our squids. So, there you are, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Um, those of you that watch us regularly will have seen, we got a comment saying that the squid like clear water and that they like pink squid jigs. So we got us a pink squid jig. 
I'm gonna go and try that out. Have a look at the conditions. Just full glass off. What do you think, Foxy? It's amazing, it's like snorkeling. Look how sunburnt Caitlin is. I um, should have put sunscreen on this morning. L little crispy. It used to be or she should have been wearing her Ningaloo Crew adventure mm. shirt. Available at the link in the description. Available at the link in the description. <laughs> Uh, also, I've noticed that we're getting between five and 10,000 views per video, which means that most of, or some of you watching this are not subscribed. So please subscribe. It really helps us out and it's free. So yeah, thanks. We will continue squidding. All right, crew, we got a dirty lens. No, you're right. No luck on the squidding front. And I've just found out that we've got a cruise ship coming in tomorrow, a surprise cruise ship. So we've got to go and sort something out there. Uh, so pretty much we're going to head in. Let us know if you'd like to know more about the humpback whales up here, because Caitlin has lots of information about humpback whales and she wants to share it with you. Let us know if you're interested in that. We might do a humpback whale, Western Australian humpback whale episode. All right, let us know. Anyway, we're just heading back into the marine now. We'll bring you back in there. Just on the way in here, and we just come across a couple of manta rays feeding on the surface. Heaps of manta rays. Whoa, there's so many. Heaps of mantas. Maybe we should throw the drone up. Ningaloo glass bottom boat. This is great. Wow, they're all along this tide line. Yeah. Oh, this manta's got a full entourage. Yeah, there's four people on that one. But like I said, like I said, we can't uh, say whether that field's going to go or not until the day before. That put, one's huge and it's got a whole up. massive entourage of fish. Put the drone up? Yeah, there's at least eight, at least. That one's massive though. All right, so, sorry about that, I was on the phone. What the hell? Oh, they're coming back. Wow. That one's massive. Craig's a... Uh, half at work right now but so cool this is... so we're gonna put the drone up wow. and try and film these guys look at all of the fish amongst them this one here is huge there's at least eight of them here it's coming straight over again wow look there's four right there wow that one is massive hello Wow, that's a huge manta. Look at all the fish. That's mostly the fish, eh? That's so cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're pretty much straight out the front of the marina. Yeah, we're almost back. Wow. Wow! You can see they're feeding because they've got their mouths wide open and they've got their cephalic lobes channeling all of the all of the yummies into their mouth. But these are reef manta rays, so we get two different types. You get reef mantas and oceanic mantas. Oceanic mantas are about twice as big and they live out in the deep blue. But these ones get up to about three, I think maximum four meters. We usually see them around like two to three meters, but that one is really big. So cool. So many. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
find me Hope you find me I don't know if you guys would have been able to see that. The GoPro usually makes things a little bit clearer than what it looks like in real life, but it was very green in there. Couldn't really see very much. So, better viewing from above the water, I reckon. So cool. They didn't really like me very much either. <laughs> ah, well. Lucky we have a drone. Wow. Uh, you can see this tide line here. This time of the year in the Gulf, we don't always have this many mantas in the Gulf, or we don't know really, but we don't always have this many mantas in the Gulf. But this time of year, for some reason, September, October, we get all these mantas arriving in the Gulf and they love feeding on these tide lines around the spring tides, not uh, the neat tides so much. When you've got that big water movement, <clears throat> you find them all feeding along these tide lines. You see there's one there, a couple more over there, and that tide line continues all the way down. It looks like there's people playing with mantas all the way down there. And then we've got more people behind us. That's where we just were up there. And there's about 10 of them up there. So yeah, beautiful reef man. It's all about sort of two to three meters across and just cruising on the surface. The dangerous thing is you can see here, got someone coming at high speed, probably not looking out for them. They're heading towards the marina and you can see these man could be hit quite easily. Yeah, so always good, especially around this time of year in the Gulf, just to slow down a little bit, pay attention. They could be just below the surface like that one there and you wouldn't even know. So yeah good to keep an eye on them you just see the the little breaking on the top of their backs and sometimes you see a fin a wingtip come out um, yeah these guys look like they're staying off the tide line so that's good look at that with all the fish so cool I got some cool drone shots with all the fish there's one that's gone down deep oh they're joining up with each other here take my fish that one just dumped all its fish on that one and then took off deep, fast. All right, Caitlin's gonna take us back to the marina. All right, crew, we're gonna leave you there. That manta is right there. Surprise manta's on the way home. That's really, really cool. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Didn't catch any fish, didn't catch any squid, but that's not new for us. Bye-bye, manta. Off to the side there. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. There's some epic drone footage there of humpback whales and manta rays. Anything you wanna say, Caitlin? Nah. Nah, nothing silent as forever. Okay, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week here on Ningaloo Crew. Bye. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> no. You're on a, a deep patch here. Should I let some out? No, no, you're, no, you're good. I'm just gonna try and make it look as tasty as possible. Mate, get your own whales. You tell them, Andy, you say, get your own whales. <sighs> when you've got motion on the boat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Aren't we doing a selfie? Yeah. We, you need to be on that side, going that way, so the sun's shining on it. Here, you hold that. Wait, wait, this is going to be perfect, I think. Nah, because we're turning away from it. I need to turn the wind. Maybe I'll have a go in with it just shining there. over there. See? See? Whereabouts? Now. Oh. Whereabouts? It's like directly behind us. They're swimming towards the beach. See now? How far away? I, I don't know how you can't. See on the horizon where there's like a block? Yeah. Right under it. See? They're just passing that block on oh, the yeah. horizon now. Yeah. Go now. You watching? Yep. You coming here? Yeah, I'm watching. We need to be close so you can see.
This is it. What are they? They're like little Mackies or something. Yeah.